Hey folks, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another video. We've been doing some more work in the room. Um, it's coming together. I still have my little setup from last night's live stream, which was really good fun. Um, had a good turnout last night, which was a little, really cool. Um, if you did tune in, you did get a little bit of a sneak peek as to what I've been doing this last week. Um, yeah, sort of I've picked up more bookshelves. Just really starting to, to get into the sort of nitty gritty of what I'm doing here. I uh, still need the shelving for all my figures. Um, but yeah, what I was sort of explaining last night is, you know, getting to the point where the figures are almost the last bit. There's some display bits. Um, vehicles are sort of getting put to the side so I can organize everything. Um, and yeah, it's, it's coming together. Just just waiting on some, waiting on a little bit of uh, extra cash to be able to hit up the local Bunnings hardware store and get those shelves in. Um, I've measured it up, I've priced it up, I'm probably looking at around 800. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get some cash together very soon. I'm trying to sell a few items to help with that. Um, not nothing, nothing major, just, just trying to clear out some space. Um, and yeah, sort of, I feel like I've got a good plan going here. Um, so what I've done is I've actually gotten, now I do forget what, I, I do have all my bookshelves, so all my books are out. I do have my sail barge out, which is nice. Um, the landlord had this coffee table just out in the garage, so I decided oh, I'm going to make, make some use out of it for the meantime. I dare say I will end up using the barge on the shelves, um, and then the, this will sort of just end up being like a coffee table. Um, coffee table I'll have a book out or something like that just to whatever I'm reading or looking at and um yeah it'll just maybe do some figure reviews on the coffee table I don't know I do have my little station over there but yeah it's nice to have all my books out all the space um you know even getting a few of the sort of odd end collectibles and stuff out and about just coming together nicely sort of scan through these a little bit just to have a look always plenty of space for more books which is always always nice um always always looking for new books and stuff like that so I do have my black series mando helmet and the uh raised lightsaber as well as these two a couple of my holy grails i've got to display them and of course there is no I pretty much covered the windows, <laughs> um, even though they had sort of good blackout look curtains. Uh, yeah, they don't let any light in. I didn't want any natural light coming in and fading stuff. So, but then just yesterday I uh, picked up this bookshelf too. Um, when I looked at the listing on Marketplace, the seller had written the dimensions that were the same as this. So I, I dare say they 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 bug it up somewhere because um, this is you know as you can see that's a little bit shorter. Um, but it's also a little bit, it's a little bit wider and fractionally deeper too. But I managed to get it to fit perfectly in that corner. So I'm happy with that. So this is basically like media games. Um, so I've got sort of my Super 8s, Blu-rays, Ultra HDs, 4Ks, um, DVDs, games. I just put those figures there for now. I'll probably end up condensing this down a little bit in order to use some extra shelf space. Uh, the VHS and video uh, CD collection there um, definitely needs to be a little bit lighter in this corner. Um, so I'm definitely going to look into getting some lighting. I've been talking with um, Sith Lord Two Two Nine about what he's done with his lighting in his room, and he's given me a few tips and some and some some ideas for what to do for lighting so i appreciate that mate if you're watching um yeah definitely going to start sourcing sourcing some plans for that uh yeah and just sort of getting some space together here um still not sure what to do there whether i actually get myself a tv and put a tv in there um i don't really want to have this room as like a as a tv room um or a movie room it's sort of place to come for my collection as opposed to coming and living in here um like enjoy hanging out 
Maybe I will. Maybe just to sort of come and tune out. And we've got a, we've got a TV in the living room and the bedroom, so don't really need another escape for TV. But um, I don't know. I might end up making that sort of see if we can get a little shelf unit to put in there. Maybe an extra shelf to just put in the middle, um, just to split that up. Not sure yet. We'll see. Do you see all my crates here? Um, yeah, I'm gonna start sort of picking these, picking through these a little bit more. There's some just display items, 3.75 di diorama pieces. That's got like the uh, the Geonosis Arena, Cloud City, ca uh, Carbon Freeze Chamber, and all that sort of stuff. The Endor Bunker. So it's 3.75 with Power of the Force figures. Mint in box stuff, Marvel DC tubs. But yeah, one, two, three, four, four figures, four tubs full of three and three quarter inch figures. And I've got uh, one Black Series, Black Series, Black Series. Um, and then I've got these, which are all sort of assorted bits and pieces. Um, I will begin sorting through these. Because I reckon some of these shelves can fit some of these items. Um, and, yeah, not sure. I've, if, if I can get another shelf in there, if I can just rig something up without causing any uh, damage to the unit, because it's not actually my shelf unit. Um, the landlord's just letting me use it. Um, so I'd like to find a way. Maybe that could be like a Power of the Force shelf in there. Power of the Force. I don't know yet. So it's just an idea at this stage, but yeah, I could definitely start start filling in some of these holes with bits and pieces. Um, yeah, not sure yet. We'll see how that all goes. But yeah, it's getting there. It's nice to have the barge out again. New batteries in there for the lighting. Along pretty well. I'm. I'm pretty happy with how this room's coming out. As always, like as I've said the last couple of couple of weeks, it's, it's just you know getting into the nitty gritty of you know what am I going to display? What actually has to go stay in storage? Like non Star Wars stuff, you know. There's no way I can do everything um, that I have, even with the amount of space I have in here, which is you know fantastic. But um, yeah, I'm still unsure. Still unsure about a lot of it. I'd love to display some of my Marvel and DC figures, especially the Batman stuff. So I'm still deciding whether... I'm not sure whether I want to keep that as a doorway to outside um, or put some shelving units in front of it because that actually takes you out into the backyard. And that would be kind of be nice, especially in the summertime, be able to open up and let, let some breeze through. Um, it is all undercover outdoors there, so it's not going to get any sunlight through the door, but... Yeah, just a bit of fresh air through the room may not hurt uh, long term. I'll tell you what, it was nice to get the Razor Crest out again. Again, this will this will definitely end up on a shelf. Um, sort of just deciding whether I want to sort of keep it on the on the display stand or actually like set it up with us landing gear and have the, door, the gates down and the doors down and. Set all the Mandalorian figures up around it. I think I'm going to do that. I think that would be a nicer display. Um, and particularly with the uh, the shelving I'm getting, it's like 540 mil deep, 540 mil deep, so a little bit over half a meter. Um, so there's going to be plenty of room for this thing. It's not going to stick out. Um, there's going to be heaps of room for stuff. Like the X-Wings, the Slave One. If anyone has wings for this thing, the Republic Attack Shuttle, um, I bought this really cheap a couple of years ago and I never had the wings. Um, I did find them on eBay and I was watching them for a really long time. And, you know, as, as things happen, I, uh, went to go get them and someone had, had snatched them up. So I'm on the hunt for wings, <laughs> which is a bit of a, bit of a pain. Um, and I've almost just completely just repurchased the vehicle. So I'm not sure what to do there yet, but, um, yeah, I've just got some random stuff around here. Again, I'd like to get some better lighting. You know, it's it's one sort of light globe in here which doesn't really illuminate a whole lot. It does what it needs to, but I sort of just found like my box of like twelve inch shampoo figures, like the Ezra. Here I've got 
my bag of like sort of Galaxy's Edge Disney themed. Got some pins, some Disney figures. They've got the uh, Star Tours ship in there. And because I've got I've got that one there, that's gonna all sort of go together. All sorts of Disney pieces there. That's actually some dirt from Galaxy's Edge. Someone got a bucket of dirt <laughs> and we're giving them away on online before Galaxy's Edge opens. So there's some like Batu Batu sand there. Um Yeah, it's uh got all my some tubs of accessories here. What have I got in here? Pez dispensers. Again, I I don't know that I need to keep my Pez dispensers and stuff like that. Um, the Indiana Jones figures I need to get out. They're going to take up a cube. Um, what have we got over here? In this tub here we have Power of the Force Rancor. There yeah, all sorts of all sorts of stuff in here. You know, I've got about four or five tubs like this. Um, <laughs> that's all. There's one there full of card bags. There's a couple of boxes that are just rubbish. Um, oh, I need to. I can't wait to go through all these stuff. That's just a box full of Darth Vader stuff. Um, but yeah, it's all sort of coming together. Um, you yeah, appreciate everyone joining in and checking this out again. Um, yeah, we'll see what the next couple of weeks, whether there will be another episode. Um, I don't know. Maybe as I start organizing things, I'll start like just doing a little look at what I've got in terms of the figures. And um, I'm really excited to sort of get them out and, you know, maybe give them a little bit of a clean up if they need to. Um, you know, they've been sitting in tubs for 18 months plus now. So, um, yeah, it's good to sort of fish a few of them out and have a look. But, um, yeah. All right, folks. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you joining me as always. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on social media and all that kind of thing for when I'm doing live streams and and updates to the channel and toy reviews and all that sort of stuff. I just post on Instagram mainly. That just sort of keeps everyone up to date and that also just links over to my Facebook. So um, and uh, yeah, if you if you're hanging out on the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check out my homepage because I do have a membership section. And uh, yeah, I'm going to work out what I'm going to do for that in the coming coming months. Um, just I'd like to freshen that up a bit too. Um, thanks to everyone who's stuck with me for the last year and a half on the membership.